Today I had to apologize to Vash Lombardi because Tyler Smith is a really, really good guard. Now, I wasn't apologizing in the sense that I didn't think he would be a good lineman because he's been a great lineman. I was apologizing in the sense that if he's going to continue to play guard like this, we might have an all pro guard on our hands. So I just, this is just a cut up of just really how well he played guard. Um, and there's nothing specifically, this isn't scheme, this isn't a super uh, cut up of who Todd Smith is, but you could just see his punch right there. It's like when he got his hands on the Patriots D lineman, and it was whoever they threw at him. I mean, when they tried to stunt with Judon, boom, you see him get next level and finish. Now, you want hands inside, but he's such a massive human being. And his lower half is so strong. Like, he moves people. Even right there, I mean, Dowdle really could have just stayed and pressed the hole and just stayed right behind Tyler Smith. When they run their dual concepts, boom, touch, boom, get to three. You want hands inside. But, I mean, like, three has to take on 73. Does he really want to do that? No, he doesn't. Here. Look at him stay square. And the thing that you love about Tyler Smith is when his base, like when he, when you try to give him bull rush and you see how he anchors, like you can literally, you can physically see his body anchor. Like you can see his hips sink. Boom, right there. And it's like, what can that D lineman do? Like there's no separation whatsoever. There's no power bull rush move. The only way that you're, it's going to, I put it to you like this. It's going to be really hard for D lineman to get a jump on Tyler or move him. Um, look right there. I love the little the little chippy things that he does just because he's so physical and strong. Like the only way that you're going to be able to beat him, I'm not going to lie, is with quickness. And in that short and in, 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 in closed space, I just don't see how you're going to be able to do it. Now, that's when he's at his best right there. When he's able to duo, um, when he's able to double team, He's a force, and what's crazy is Terrence Steele is really like kind of a splitting image of him. But you see right there, I mean, he literally erases the D tackle, and he may have tried to run some type of move on him. It doesn't matter. Once he gets his hands on you, you're erased. Look right there. He literally pushes the D tackle five gaps over. Like that tackle start, and Vach actually highlighted that play. That tackle started in the C gap. He ended up in the E gap, the easy E gap. So to me, I mean, I know I wanted him to play tackle, but if he's going to continue to grade out like this at guard, Houston, we got a problem. We might need to draft another tackle because we got another all-pro guard.